This activity is from lessons 5 to 7 of the Wellbeing Curriculum, Learning About Gratitude. Today we're going to be brainstorming gratitude and ways of showing gratitude in our school and community. So here's what you're going to need uh, as a brainstorming activity. Each student will need something to take your own notes on. So that could be a piece of paper or it could be something digital like your phone, depends on what you, how your classroom is set up. And as a group, you should have something to take notes on. So maybe that's chart paper, maybe it's a blackboard, or maybe once again, uh, you're typing it up on screen. So let's get started by just focusing our mind. So if, you, if you're comfortable, let's close our eyes and take three deep breaths through the nose, into the nose, out through the mouth. As we get ourselves ready for this activity, let's think about what we're grateful for. Let's start off from today. Is there something that happened today that you're grateful for? Did someone do something? Is there someone who you're grateful for for what they did for you today? Now let's extend to the week. Let's think throughout this week, what's something that you're really grateful for? Or who is someone you're really grateful to? Now let's think about the year. What's a real highlight of the year? And who's someone you're grateful for, for that? Now let's set, let's set an intention to really show our gratitude to our school and community. As we're ready, let's slowly open our eyes. So the purpose of this whole activity is for us to find someone who deserves gratitude and find a way of showing it to them. So the first step is as individuals, to think about who are we grateful to? Here are some idea starters for you. So write, the, write down your ideas and your notes. Who, is, who are people in your school who you are grateful for? Maybe someone who doesn't get enough credit. Maybe custodial staff, some admin worker, maybe it's a crossing guard. Who's someone in your community? Who doesn't get enough gratitude but deserves it? Who's someone that's been helpful or thoughtful for you recently? Who's made you smile, cheered you up, made you feel welcome? Who has taught you something or helped you something, helped you discover something that you love? Who makes the school or community a better place without asking for a thank? Try brainstorming not just people that mean a lot to you, but people who maybe mean a lot to a lot of people in this room. Maybe people who other people in your class will all also know. Because it's good to be grateful for yourself, but the point of this activity is to take action as a group. So try to think of some names that a lot of people in the room will know. Now it's time for our first vote. So. As a group, you're gonna share who you think deserves gratitude. Once again, remember to share people who a lot of people know. So you might be grateful to your mom, for example, but not everyone in the room knows her. So try to find someone who everyone knows, someone who's in the school or community. So write down the ideas, whether it's on the board or on a chart paper, and then you're gonna take a vote. Once you've narrowed it down to your top two or three people, take one more vote to decide who you want to show gratitude to. Uh, the reason we're doing this is because you probably started off with a lot of people and maybe you split the votes up because of that. And now that you've got down to your top three, you want to make sure that once again, the person you choose represents the majority of the class. Now that we know who we want to show gratitude to, let's brainstorm as a group how we want to show them gratitude. Let's start off by just discussing what are some ways someone has shown you gratitude. Next, think about what are ways that the person you chose may enjoy receiving gratitude. What do you know about them? Do they like it to be very public or more private? Do they like gifts? Do they like something written? Like a video. 
Now getting more tangible, you want to think about how can you tell them why you are grateful, right? You don't want to just give someone a gift and not explain to them, hey, I am grateful to you because you did this. How can you give them a token of your gratitude? Is it just going to be a, a card or a something that says why you're grateful? Or are you going to give them some sort of gift at the end or some sort of token? Maybe something you design as a class, like a piece of art. Maybe some sort of poem or maybe something you buy as a gift. How can you make this something that they can look back on in the future, right? So if you have an event where you're telling the, this person, hey, let's call them into the class and tell them how grateful we are, that's nice. But is there something you can do to make sure that, you know, in a year's time, they can still remember what you said? So take, take some time to brainstorm these questions as a group. Now that you've started your brainstorming, I really want to encourage you to take it a step further and really think outside the box. Maybe, here's some ideas for you. Maybe you want to perform a song or a skit for that person, something creative that you made yourself. Maybe you want to bake something for them. Maybe you want to help them with their work. What other creative ideas do you have? Now, it's time for another group vote. We're gonna vote on how we're showing gratitude because the point of this is to do it as a group. So let's look at all the ideas you've just brainstormed and let's take a vote on what your favorite idea is. Once you've done the first round of voting and you've narrowed it down to your top two to three ideas, decide whether you want another vote in order to get your number one idea or if you wanna combine your top two or three into one idea. And with that, you should now have the person you want to show gratitude to and the type of activity you want to do for them. It's now time to move to the take action step of your resource. 